good morning everyone i am welcome you all to this 26th day of our csa or online class today we are going to discuss about biodiversity of life forms uh, before i enter into the session please let me know am i audible am i audible and uh, uh, it's a uh, slides are visible let me know please through chat box mm, am i audible and uh, can you see my slides Yeah, okay thank you for your response uh, now i am uh, starting the session uh, this is the second session uh, third session of our uh, uh, csa or uh, uh, 30 days training because uh, we divided this uh, classes into three part three sessions in three sessions we are discussing based on their mark allotment okay uh, this is ninth unit it's a biodiversity it's full of uh, animal and plant diversity how it's developed from uh, the origin uh, and ancestor and uh, how can we classify all those things are we are going to discuss in this um, unit here one more thing uh, in this uh, biodiversity first first thing is a taxonomy hierarchy we everyone are uh, and we all, we all study in the 11th and uh, 12th standard uh, it's just refreshment okay uh, in this way we can uh, call uh, the uh, animal or plant by this a uh, fixed format we can't uh, this is a, a, some uh, some english names are there but in the biodiversity we need to uh, explain the concept with the uh, our uh, uh, the taxonomy taxonomy okay in this taxonomy they fixed one format okay that format is uh, having the various arrangement in that arrangement its first one is the diversity the first topic is the taxonomic hierarchy in that first thing we want to uh, know about the kingdom that is the base in that kingdom that is animal kingdom that may be a plant kingdom that is very important thing in the uh, hierarchy order then it's a phylum then phylum it's uh, based on their uh, internal prop characters and classes it's uh, based on morphology it may be based on the uh, habitat all those things and order then family then genus species okay this is a order process we can't change because is uh, many of uh, repeatedly they are asking the this hierarchy question okay we they confuse with the uh, sub sub topics okay uh, the uh, we so we want to understand the concept kingdom phylum class order family genus and then species they ask uh, 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 nearly uh, four or five question papers are having this kind of uh, orders hierarchy order they ask in the question so only i include this and take a uh, important concern next thing in this uh, uh, taxonomy the uh, first thing uh, the classifications okay in here you can see the seven steps here you can see are uh, nearly a nine step what they included in the domain okay it's not a uh, life is not important this domain is very important this domain based on the domain means uh, that uh, that is a living or non-living and uh, it's uh, unicellular that kind of things domains are it comes under the linear uh, linear classification that is one kind of classification method and uh, in this method the biological entries that are that are um, some artificial artificial and uh, really con constructed both all con comes in that comes under the family for example e coli is a natural one recombinant e coli strains also comes in the same family and uh, same denotion so uh, that are that they they modified the e coli but that e coli comes in the 
the normal classification mode because that that is no modified but that is having the same you know genetic characters of the particular family so uh, that is not change in the after the recombination in higher taxonomy level that at least contain the species sharing the common ancestor okay in the higher taxonomic level that uh, species are sharing the single common ancestor and uh, okay uh, in the taxonomy okay uh, normally we discuss in the previous two slides we are discussed the uh, linear and uh, taxo uh, I mean, what is taxonomy and what is the uh, characters and internally we have a kingdoms plant kingdom animal kingdom microbes kingdom right that we have uh, the, this slide we are going to discuss about the plant taxonomy why uh, that this this taxonomy is called as the systematic uh, to system and systematic uh, uh, classifications okay next uh, this uh, uh, taxonomy is uh, it's fixed it's studied in the 372 285 bc itself that is 300 year before the crest and uh, carolus linnaeus is the uh, father of taxonomy uh, the they he, we we the uh, Carlos Linnaeus reported the this taxonomy on uh, 1707 and 1778. In that period, he reported the taxonomical of uh, plants. And uh, this uh, is the first report. So, only we call the Carlos Linnaeus as a father of taxonomy. And in the taxonomy, how they uh, differ differentiate the group uh, plants, how they group the plants based on the morphology. In the morphology, the plant growth habit and uh, that some plants are grown in three months, or some plants are grown taken takes uh, uh, much years. Okay, that based on that they divide the groups. Okay, six months growing plant or two year growing plant. 10 year growing plant all those things and leaf arrangement okay uh, leaf arrangement of the plant is very very important one some plants are having five leaves at one point some plants are having the uh, its uh, alternative leaves in the one or uh, one stem on uh, stem okay uh, in uh, neem tree leaf is vary from the papaya tree leaves that kind of things and flowers okay some plant flowers are having white color some plants are blue color some plant some flowers are the pink color based on the flower character and flowering character that flowering character means um, it's uh, sometimes it's a uh, flowering in, uh, it's blooming in the morning sometimes blooming in the afternoon that characteristics then fruit characters uh, sweet bitter uh, it's uh, like uh, uh, various stages are there. It's a non, not uh, tasty. It's uh, various taste. Okay, and anatomy. Next thing is uh, anatomy. Uh, secondary xylem characteristics. Okay, xylem characteristics is the internal uh, stem. Uh, we they even they um, dissect the stem and view the xylem and the xylem view they separate the and group the uh, plant. And epidermic including uh, trichome and somata. That stomata, how many, how much amount of somata? Uh, in uh, dry land plant, some they having the low number of somata in the open because they want, they don't need to uh, release the water. And uh, some in uh, some plants, they having n number of stomata on the uh, cells of, I mean, leaf surface. And uh, some plants having uh, the closed stomata, some plants having the diverse stomata. That is based on that they classify. Uh, palynology. Palynology is a, uh, it's a pollen characteristics based on. Uh, it's flowering. It's uh, um, it's producing fruit or may not produce fruit. And the pollen size, shape, and aperture and axins captures clubtures okay these are all the taxonomy characters of the plant morphology anatomy and the palynology
then these are all the at uh, plant level that plant classification likewise we need to understand the animal internal um, uh, internal uh, characters it's uh, one minute okay in that uh, that way the plants are classified into two types that is the seed producing and seed uh, it's not producing seed okay it's um, not seed producing uh, plants some plants are not uh, producing uh, uh, seeds that are divided into two types there is uh, no tree root stem and there is no leaves that uh, there is no root that, uh, so that are called as the algae okay that are not producing seeds and the uh, some some of them having root okay that root that fur, ferns and some of them having the stem that are called as the mosses and some plants are producing seeds that pro seed producing plants are divided into two types the seed producing plants are divided into two types that is the flowering and non flowering the non flowering called as the gymnosperm flowering is a angiosperm so once again please remember some of them some non botany students are make a mistake in this step uh flowering plants are angiosperm non flowering plants are gymnosperm and this is uh, having in uh, some plants okay the here they mention the example alone that uh, conifers as comes under the gymnosperm the it's a well known and uh, it's a long time studied plant in the gymnosperm plant it's a conifers and sunflower is a gymnosperm it's a flowering plant it's, so it's called as the gymnosperm and this flower also producing the seeds okay next is a uh, animal kingdom animal taxonomy uh, um, taxonomy in that animal taxonomy various group of uh, levels are there okay in the phyla level okay that is phyla level in that phyla they we have n number of uh, classification the annelida okay annelida it's a segmented worm the very very here the, it, this is uh, one collective information slide uh, uh, actually it may be visible to you because letters are small but uh, so actually uh, i will send the uh, your ppt uh, if not this if not able to see this please uh, uh, refer that uh and one more thing uh, last two day also i am not sent the ppt today i will send that to all the ppts okay now uh, the i'm 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 reading this please uh, take it into your brain that annelida it's a segmented worm okay it's a worm type that is come to, comes in the phyla then uh, nematoda nematoda it's a round worm and arthropods arthropods having three groups and another thing is the platyhelminths okay platyhelminths that is a flat worms then corotata corotata that is the vertebrates that vertebrates are classified into different type then porifera it's a sponge it's also the animal sponges also the animals the echinodermata it's a starfish she archins and the snidori doria the snidoria it's a coral leaves and jellyfishes molusasa is a snails molusa it's a snail and clams octopus these are all the comes under the uh, this phyla this phyla having the uh, five different groups in five different groups different animals are comes in the order uh, it's very uh, actually the questions are uh, they are asking uh, ask ask this question is a match, uh, like uh, match the following uh, so only i'm included 
uh, once again i am repeat it and the annelida it's having the segmented worm nematota it's a round worm arthropods having three groups are the subphyla okay subphyla they having three groups it's a uh, and i will explain the next step and uh, uh, platy helmithis that is the flat worm then crotecta its uh, vertebrates vertebrate vertebrates are all vertebrates are concerned in the crotecta and porifoge fera porifera it's all uh, having the sponges sponges are living thing it comes under the animal kingdom echinotermata it's a starfish and sea urchins and cnidaria it's a coral jellyfish then mosu mulusa mulusa it's a snail and clams octopuses okay okay if now arthropods it's having three the phyla is arthropod and the sub phylas are having three groups one is the ciliceratates ciliceratates that ciliceratates are having the uh, the horseshoe crabs horseshoe crabs that is its own type of uh, uh, the pest the horseshoe crabs that is the comes under the arthropods and pota and spiders scorpions these are all the shili ceratates okay then the crustaceans asians crustaceans that scrops that crabs lapstos shims and uh, insects that all come to, comes under the the uh, uh, crest asians then lebiates lebiates is a millipedes and centipedes millipedes and centipedes are comes under the lebiates uh, and next thing in the phyla now we are discuss the arthropoda arthropoda Uh, phylum having three subgroups. Three subgroups are ciliceratates uh, uh, and crustaceans and lebiates. In that we have the invertebrates. Main thing then that in that we are having a uh, subgroup of arthropods. We having invertebrates. And here now, Cordata it's uh, comes uh, having the sub phyla as a vertebrate. this vertebrates are divided into uh, eight classes amphibians reptiles birds mammalians bony fish and uh, uh, cartilaginous fish lymphaeids hack fishes see so all the comes under the vertebrates okay now uh, in that we having n number of mammalian itself we have Uh, n number of these are all about the animal kingdom they must ask the question based on this animal kingdom classifications and plant kingdom classifications okay now uh, first in this previously we discussed the uh, what is taxonomy and that plant taxonomy and animal taxonomy now after to this we are going to our uh, class discuss the Uh, in ten, uh, two in that tissues are there. Animal tissues are there. That tissues are having different group classification and they are doing different function. Uh, okay, that functions are helpful for the embryonic origin and it's helpful for the common functions means heartbeat, that uh, excretion. All those functions are uh, happens with the tissues. In that tissues we having the four different types. on contractive tissues epithelial connective tissues epithelial tissues muscle tissue and nerve tissues the connective tissues epithelial tissues muscle tissues and nerve tissues this uh, tissues various tissues are in the various pla- uh, various part okay in that uh, 
that first one is the or uh, here you can see it's uh, first one and basal lamina and it's underlying tissue and apical surface of epithelium and new cell uh, cell nuclei okay it's all about the external cell surface of our human body and simple uh, squ squamux epithelium that is air sacs of lung that air sacs of lungs are having the epithelium cells that cells are look like this arrangement that is we need to uh, allow the uh, the air then simple cup cupoids its epithelium it's present in the kidney these all are epithelium cells that epithelium cells are in different shape here it's a uh, cupoids that cupoid cell that uh, cupoid cells means it's a cube form and it's a simple columnar epithelium it's present in intestine its columns here you can see the columns uh, the, here the many I, you, I want to let you know that they are uh, they are asking the question which kind of epithelium this in the which kind of which part okay the apical surface uh, and uh, that uh, lungs having the or uh, squamous epithelium and uh, our kidney having cupoid epithelium, intestine having lam columnar lap epithelium, and our esophage having the uh, stratified squamous squa epithelium. So, okay, then on uh, pseudo -strat stratified cli clicated column here it's not in orange manner it's mixed manner so it's uh, not in uh, it's a pseudo starified it's present in the epithelial tract it's allow it's not it's no it's fully compact because it's not allowing the external uh, contamination so it's it's fully closed these are all the various parts and epithelial cells and uh, this various organs having the various uh, f uh, that chemical various components that we yeah, have that helpful for their organs and the hormones organs and the uh, their uh, parts okay nerve system it's uh, producing anatoxins and uh, Saxi toxin and this all helpful for the neuronal function and the lungs producing the uh, syndrospermosins and micro cysteines nodal larynx liver is producing the syndrospermosins and micro cysteines and additionally it's producing the lim limno Thyroxins. All those things are uh, uh, here. Many chemicals are there, and um, uh, here the one thing uh, uh, that we, we want to know: the all those organs are having uh, some kind of the cell. Here you can see the immune system, stomach, uh, small intestine, colon and uh, cast uh, oh, sorry uh, kidney liver liver uh, lungs these all uh, parts are having the uh, cylindro sermo uh, spermo scenes and some of the common things all it's in the all organs some uh, comp some the organs are having uh, unique um, effects so based on that they uh, differentiate the functions of organs and uh, some here now we uh, after the understanding of uh, the class the tissues uh, based on that tissues and uh, uh, characters uh, the internal functions organal functions 
they are changed uh, that are changed for the climate changed for the food need that adaptiveness the adaptiveness we we discussed right in earlier uh, classes we discussed adaptiveness is a environmental adaptment in that way first we discussed the tissues right the tissue tissue this tissues and organs are uh, it's a correlated one in that all things are uh, it's uh, fully depends it's it, that can be vary for the environmental factors here they ex- provided the example uh, based on the uh, plants uh, that sorry based on the birds character uh, some of the pla- uh, uh, birds are uh, eating the seeds that uh, that finches are look different looks different so that is a small that seed seed eating uh, birds finches are it's uh, some here you can see it's a large one S- and it's a, it's the somewhat medium it's a biggest one and uh, it's a very uh, it's a sharp and uh, some here you can it is it is a very um very very sharp and uh, uh, cactus cactus eaters are there that are the uh, somewhat sharp they are these based on their need their organs are developed okay okay the main thing is the organs are developed based on their need so that tissues are arranged based on their need in the organs this there that is a sequential one then uh, insect eaters are there the um, some eat uh, that are uh, it's uh, uh, warbler and woodpeckers it's different finch uh, small infectious that is here you can see the different you know, finch and uh, uh, larger finches also there is based on their need they develop the organ then uh, here uh, the adaptiveness for their uh, the animals are changed their uh, their uh, uh, nature they changed their uh, um, characters for uh, their environmental change they that take a uh, long time that may take uh, thousands of years is that is uh, very based on the uh, environmental change okay here the first thing in the uh, here is a it's a laser and that anteater and here the number of uh, the anteater characters are changed it's not visible but i will include and mouse it's no it's in small form and uh, the are multiple mouse it's a different one and climbers it's like a uh, it's a lemur it's spo- it's more it's modified it's a spotted cuckoo and climber it's climber in climber flying squirrel it's a flying it's uh, modified here you can see the uh, their uh, legs so planches and cat it's a um ocelot it's kind of one it's a testimonial it's a tiger e tiger cat it look like different uh, outlook and wolf it's it's a tasmanian wolf it's normal it looks it's different it pro, it's change their external surface body and face these are all the changes that based on the adaptive modification these are all the adaptive modification uh this thing is a uh, adaptive radiation they develop the organs for their need it's a adaptive modification uh they are change their uh, external surface body and uh, their uh, some changes based on the uh, environmental change it's look like it's some called as in modification it's uh, again uh, one it's uh, sorry it's misarranged one okay uh, these are all some applications uh, 
uh, okay based on their character now we can see it's it, this it's a uh, cat and it's also cat it's also how they can classify that is the classification that is tree we can draw the phylogenetic tree for all the animals all the plant okay here the common based on the common character okay vertebrates the in okay in that uh, in that map first is a vertebrate in that vertebrate we are having all those things all the shark fish amphibians and uh, primates uh, and uh, crocodiles dinosaurs mammalians and here the based on the bony skeleton okay bony skeleton and bony skeleton means that bones bone strength shark is is different bone one so that is is divided with with the different group and four limbs those having four limbs fishes don't having the four limbs so we eliminate that the different group uh, here the amphibians or mammals or rabbits crocodiles dinosaurs are having the four limbs and am noid egg am noid egg is uh, that the am noid eggs so it's uh, uh, it's uh, comes in the different leaf that wing and is the uh, after that uh, based on the amnoid amnoid egg tick a amnoidic egg we can divide at the two groups uh, there are four uh, four different uh, gr uh, species uh, it's primates rabbits crocodiles dinosaurs these things are divided based on the pre orbital fenestra fenestra okay this uh, is based and the thing is a hair the primates and rabbits are having hair but crocodile and dinosaur don't having the ha ha uh, hair so that is divided into different different uh, branches and the thing in the here you can it's uh, uh, hair having two species are in one one wing the don't having this two are don't having the hair okay these are all the classification types in the for one x the likewise we can classify the various species and uh, it's uh, overall common thing uh, eukaryote archaea bacteria in the eukaryotic we having the plant fungi animal flag, uh, the flagell flagellas uh, trichoma trichomatas and microsporidia and diplo monodos monodos and slim molds and uh, mobias it is already comes under eukaryote very very important kingdoms okay it's all the kingdoms and the archaeas archaeas having different uh, pyrodi uh, here we can see the pyrodictiums thermo proteus thermo cacus uh, cellar and methanococcus methanobacterium methano sarsina hello archaea these are kingdoms having in the archaea family and bacterium it's a uh, chlorophyxy gram positive gram negative bacteria spermocytes proteobacteria cyanobacteria plant cytomonas my mice cytomyces bacterioids thermodoka it's a confusion zone okay here ther thermodoka is comes under the bacterium thermoproteus proteus thermococcus are comes under the archaea and aquifix is a bacteria it's all the they are asking must asking the question based on the kingdom and ask uh, bacterial based question so very important thing in the exam point of view the classification next thing in the uh, it's uh, one, uh, one other example 
this overall classification in the mammalian group okay uh, we are all the mammalian and insects are comes from same ancien okay uh, is it right uh, it's yes is it right okay because the our common ancestor is first one and it's divided into different group in the insects reptile and fishes that are all the group in that group we having this subgroup okay it's a first system in that subgroup amphibians avians and uh, this uh, this are the another subgroup this subgroup having the rodents monkeys and primates primates in the primates we having the mammalians so monkey and mammalian is similar we are and rodents and Ma, ma, animal, the animal, ma, mice, it comes in the same ancestor. So only we are doing the animal studies with the mice. Okay, these are only for examples. Okay, next thing is the habitat studies. In the habitat study, they are we having the different habitats with the. Uh, that is maybe uh, grown in the farm, the cat, a cow, that all. Some animals are grown in the desert, like camel and some birds. All the specific for the habitat. Uh, actually, uh, that is a big table. I I can't include in this space. So I am not included uh, because each places and animal name. That is the uh, uh, the out overall output of that PDF. Uh, the, please refer that PDF for the uh, habitat study. That habitat is very important. Uh, that habitat means that is a location. Which location? Sahara and uh, and maybe the Western Ghats. They provided the location. Ask the animal name. It may be the ocean. That is the Antarctic Ocean, Indian Ocean. That are all the things. Okay. And. Uh, uh, here uh, the phenology is a very important one and uh, it depends on the study of the periodic plant periodic life of the plant animal in the life cycle okay how they influence is how, how there are influenced by the seasonal and internal uh, interannual variations in the climate climate change based on the climate change how they are changed their characters it's a phenological understanding because that we are discussing the diversity biodiversity also includes the life of uh, environment okay uh, all those animals and plants all comes from the environmental change so this uh, related relation between the environment change is very very important that is called the study between that study of animal and uh, uh, plant changes due to the climate change and seasonal and interannual inter variations that all things are uh, change their habitat factor okay now uh, yeah the as i earlier said the word and angle it's a climate change uh, place of birds some plants or uh, some birds are face some climate uh, defect in the some place so they are comes to the, our land for uh, habitat okay that is a habitated place that is need the uh, need water they need birds are need water they need a uh, food they need a cool condition so they are come to the Vedandangal and uh, some of the uh, this is the flowering phenology uh, here it's uh, it's about the plant uh, all in uh, this slide is uh, telling the uh, factors about the plant okay if there is a, a exposure of the warm temperature over time the, in, is the main driver of the springtime plant development okay it's a it's a springtime it's a temperature zone based one some zones are having long spring time some tones are uh, short spring times depends on the our uh, uh, temperature variations and uh, it's required the heat, uh, heat. Okay, uh, all plants are need heat and light for their 
uh, energy metabolism then only they can produce the energy that uh, quanti uh, quantified requirement of that control the development it's uh, genetically controlled okay every process are genetically controlled in the uh, flowering phenology and uh, one i um, and the onset of flowering is a very important thing in the element of the phenology uh, the based on the water level based on the temperature based on the uh, plant uh, uh, metabolism rate genetic they are producing the uh, they are producing the uh, light producing uh, producing the flower that is they vary depends on the environment okay for example uh, some plants are, are producing the flower it's a flower pro make a flowering at the evening time some plants are in the morning time some plants are kurunji it's one plant in uh, that producing the uh, flowering in, uh, after the 12 years that is based on the genetic level modification that is the ge that genetic level control okay uh, these are all the uh, variations so that are all the variations of analogy in the flowering okay next thing uh, that's a uh, microbes pathology and uh, anim uh, that manic microbes that parasites uh, proto uh, diseases involved with uh, mammalian system now till now we are discussing what are all the animals what are all the bacteria what are the plants how they habitat how they change their characters now how they interlinked with the human that thing is we are going to discuss how one my one microorganism can, can how it is related with the human that make a disease uh, that is a, if the malaria affect the human that make uh, that is the organism called the organism called as the plasmodium that make a Mal malaria disease to the human uh, the, uh, match the following question question without this this is uh, related match the following question that is no csr question because uh, every time they asking the disease based csar question and that in that they are asking the malaria okay that is caused by the plasmodium then Lesmanias, that is the Lesmania species, make a uh, uh, make a disease. Here on uh, so African sleeping disease, it's caused by the Trifanosoma and sickness. It's uh, produce that uh, that are experiencing sickness and Chakas disease is produced by the Trifanosoma cruzi. This all are producing by microbes and the parasite microorganism. Not that is the parasitic microorganisms. That is a protozoal diseases. It's cast transmitted through by various uh, bites. Okay. Uh, this one also. The nowadays CSR question comes with a three way match the following question. Okay, uh, they are asking the three columns in the match the following. This is parasitic organism and transmission route. Here, the malaria is transmitted uh, by the, ma that plasmodium is uh, transmitted by the mosquito to cause the malaria. Lesimanias are transmitted to sand fly bites that cause the lesmanias. And Trifanosoma brucis, it's caused by the CTC fly bite it's uh, make a african sleeping sickness and uh, it uh, trifanosoma cruzis cruzis uh, it's make a, it's uh, transmitted by the kiss bugs and it's make a disease as a chakas disease these are all the group of um, diseases and their causing root and then parasitic worm disease all the, these are only worm diseases so that the worms are make a diseases okay then um, cystoma cystosoma okay cystosoma it's produced transmitted to the water and it's making the cystosoma yes. and 
Ucharias Barcroft T. This transmitted to the mosquito and it causes a disease called filariasis. Filariasis is a uh, major disease in the uh, some uh, uh, undeveloped countries. It is uh, caused by the mosquito and transmitted by the mosquito and caused by the Ucharia van Crofts and some uh, Anchocersa valvulus. It is producing the river blindness. It is transmitted by the black flies and Nakato Ameri Americanus. It is transmitted to the soil and make a cookworm infection and Ascaris it is transmitted by soil and cause the Ascariasis. It is a second name also very important the Ascaris lumbricoids uh, because here you can see the first name is the same that is uh, uh, that is the uh, family name it is a uh, trophonosoma and the bruises make a sleeping disease and cruises make a chakos disease that are transmitted by the various way also the things are very important uh, these are all the some other thing other diseases caused by the uh, protozoans um, that balantri Theosis, it's caused. It's a, it's a common organism uh, disease name. It's uh, caused by the palantium tedium. Palantium coil. It's uh, affect the intestinal mucus and endomobia histolytica. It's affect the intestine. Giardia lampila. It is affected lumen or small intestine and lesmanias. It is affected the uh, cutaneous and plasmodium, red blood, plasmodium things. We are low, plasmodiums are affected red blood cells and trichomonas. It is affected female urine genital tract and male asymptomatic. It is not affected. It is sim not symptomatic, but uh, it is affect the female, okay, trichomonas vaginalia and trichotrophonosoma brucei, we know that uh, study in the previous step, it is affect the lymph nodes and central nervous system, trophonosoma cruzi, it is affect the colon, heart, nerve, muscle, blades, these are all the things affected. Okay, very very important things are the the disease name and uh, the disease affected area and uh, the our species name. Uh, it's uh, that intestinal worm. It's a major uh, disease causing thing uh, in the uh, human intestine. Okay, uh, the next thing basic thing is the uh, domain domain arch that archaeology based on the. Uh, that um, archaeology means how they are uh, uh, present where they are present okay uh, which area that is uh, highly dominant in the, uh, in the particular area in that uh, Eurasia the dogs are highly present in them in the me middle, me middle East they are goats cow and uh, cats are very high and sheep big and uh, humped cows are there then our uh, central asia having the central asia having the horse camel and um, they two hump humped uh, the the central asia having two humped uh, camel and one humped camel uh, turkeys uh, sorry uh, east asia uh, that central asia are having that Two compared one Middle East countries are having the one compared one, and uh, here that uh, 
llama it's a south american uh, species and uh, south american also having alpaca and middle east and uh, east asia having chicken and uh, for north americans are in turkeys east asia and middle east having ducks in the present these are all things are the um, that places of or the where animals are frequently find in that found in the particular place some rare species are it's uh, these are all the rare species okay uh, so endangered species uh, so endangered species means that it's uh, i think it's uh, not visible to you if it is uh, not if you not find can't able to see this i'll send the ppd because, because uh, this is a data from the government websites so i so i can't uh, edit this okay leopards the amur leopards around 60 only present over the world the russian far east that place is having the this particular leopards it's nearly 60 alone in the world it's a very low count then cross river gorilla it's a grass river gorilla it's 200 to 300 is present in the chinko basin okay chinko basin then uh, javan rhino it's present 57 in the indonesia and black rhin, r- rhino it's 4848 present in the mumbai and coastal east africa how sibel turtle this turtles are it's a specific one counts are not exactly uh, known by the organizations it's present specifically in the mesomersic mesomersican and the coastal east africa coral triangles and the another turtles are letrobats these are all also and unco- the counts are also unknown it's present in the east coastal areas uh, see these are all the some animals which rarely present in its endangered animals in the around the world okay these are all the some locations that are provided um, they are they are provided based on the indian uh, that map ma- world map okay uh, please uh, uh, it's uh, just this is all the uh, endangered species eastern uh, lock lock la, lowland gorilla sumatran rhino rhino is a very very rare t- species one uh, species then suma smarter smartran tiger also it's a different one malaysian malayan tiger some species are mostly that are this region or uh, asian regions are uh, having the uh, more endangered species so these are all the uh, that are all about the animals some birds are also and it's uh, comes under the uh, endangered species that are endangered species all about the indian these are all the india's uh, endangered species the forest owl let it's uh, nearly present 700 to 800 it's uh, mm, present in the particular location of india it's uh, nearest to mumbai then uh, jerdons that jerdons or uh, uh, it's one bird type this is a uh, uh, re- rhino petals family it's all it's available in the karnataka bengal uh, flari flarigons it's so uh, bengal it's fully present in the bengal and white bit uh, bullet harian this is all present in the are himachal areas that are uh, and uh, and himalayan quill 
coil and pink headed ducks were available in the Himalayans and some of them having uh, the wild the white rumbed vultures the the garuda you may you know garuda it's a bird name is in tamil they are also available in the uh, that is also endangered species in the world in the world and also in the india these are all some plants that are uh, that some uh, birds now some india uh, it's uh, uh, indian endangered animals also there it's a uh, gangenetic dolphins gangenetic gangenetic dolphin wolf black buck elephant tiger all these are all the things are endangered in the india and how to uh, conserve it our biodiversity this is the one important thing and last thing in the, our ninth unit it's a in, in there is a in tissue method and ex tissue method ex uh, tissue method is having the sacred plants homes home gardens we can make for preserve the plant seed bank we can develop and botanical garden we can develop another thing it's production area network a sacred grow grow um, grow sacred lakes or we can make make to develop and conserve the uh, our animals and biosphere reserve national parks wildlife sanitize uh, the wildlife uh, uh, garden wildlife uh, parks we can make uh, it's having two types in the reserve area terrestrial area and marine reserve area so this developing the reserve area we can so we can preserve our animals and these are already some another techniques so one thing is uh, if there is a city level or uh, the tourism development job creation prevention job at the uh, forest officers provide uh, that uh, poverty reduction it's that these are only some uh, human based one okay how to uh, uh, the if that it uh, here it's a heritage uh, conservation for a human how we can uh, develop conserve the uh, environment it is all about the human this is all about the plant and animal this is how to conserve the heritages uh, or con heritages conservation uh, it's full of our human uh, needed and it's all about the environment conserve this uh, that na nature conservation and res resource conservation we want to save the resource if that is a resource uh, conversion we need to conserve the economy and we if we conserve the economy means that conserve the society these are the cyclic process i think it's uh, last slide it's uh, now we are uh, overall discuss about the plant taxonomy animal taxonomy how it is related to the human how it is make a uh, diseases to human and uh, some how the uh, habitats and uh, some diverse uh, endangered species and how to conserve the animals and birds so for that uh, production we need to make a uh, our uh, national life national wildlife wildlife cards that is the reserve area making we won't allow the humans in the particular area so there is uh, animals are happily live in that particular area that's all the things are about all about the or uh, human and uh, the animal uh, conservations uh, thank you everyone tomorrow we will discuss about the unit uh, 10 if you have any doubts please uh, put it in chat box i will uh, make an answer in google classroom okay Gymnosperm and angiosperm uh, both are flowering plants. Yeah, okay. The difference between both cases determined based on the seed structure. Seeds are closed, whereas gymnosperm needs seeds are knacked. Okay. Thank you for your answer, ma'am. Thank you everyone.
in blood group testing they are not using chemicals they are using the antibodies if uh, the if we are added the uh, antibody a in a blood group uh, for example we are taking a blood group a if we are adding the antibody a in a blood group a means that is the no coagulation cap happens um we are adding the antibody b means that there is a antigen b present in a blood group a right so that is a antigen b and antibody b uh, make a coagulation that is a, uh, some aggregations formation indicates that is a that blood group is uh, a there is no chemical usage in the blood group testing only antibody usage in the blood group testing Okay, thank you everyone. I'm uh, in this uh, live.